Hey everybody, it's Dr. Eric Ball Cabbage. We're back for another edition of Thyroid Thursday. And today I want to talk about how blood pressure medications can lower your production of thyroid hormone, throw your lab values off so your doctor may not even notice that's what's going on. So this is a patient who I just reviewed her blood work and her TSH, T4, free T4, T3, free T3, and reverse T3 were all low normal, all below the optimal range and all close to lab low. And so what's going on with this patient? So well, she's struggling with weight loss inhibition. She's tired. She's got muscle weakness. She's got lots of symptoms of hypothyroidism. But if you looked at her labs, especially from a traditional lab standard of just looking at TSH, they would say that her thyroid physiology is working fine, but it's not. And here's why. She's taking two blood pressure medications, Losartan and Verapamil, and both of these inhibit thyroid hormone production. Losartan does lower blood pressure. It's an angiotensin II inhibitor, but the problem is that when you take Losartan, it increases hypothalamic. That's an area in the brain. It increases the conversion of T4 to T3 in the hypothalamus. And you would think, wow, that's good because then the hypothalamus is getting plenty of thyroid hormone. It is good for the hypothalamus, but the hypothalamus regulates differently than the peripheral tissues. It's much more sensitive to small variations in T3. So when the hypothalamus conversion of T4 to T3 is upregulated under Losartan, that causes the, T the hypothalamus to reduce TRH production Without thyroid releasing hormone, the pituitary gland doesn't produce TSH. And if the pituitary gland doesn't produce TSH, then you don't get production of T4 and T3 at the thyroid gland. And as you have decreased production of T4, then your reverse T3 levels will drop. The other problem with Losartan is it increases something called UCP, which decreases the mitochondrial production of ATP. And ATP is the, is the energy molecule of the cells and of the tissues and of the muscles. So she's going to have less energy production. The third piece is that Losartan increases NPY and the agouti-related agouti protein, which causes an increase in appetite and weight gain and blood pressure and actually lowers libido. So this is just one of her blood pressure medications is causing the problem a problem, but her other blood pressure medication, the calcium channel blocker, Verapamil, decreases calcium getting into the cells. And specifically, it can decrease the calcium into the thyroid gland. Without thyroid, without calcium in the thyroid gland, what happens is you can't convert iodide to iodine, and we need that iodine to produce thyroid hormones, okay? So in this situation, she's got high blood pressure that's triggered by an inflammatory mechanism. That inflammatory me mechanism is deactivating thyroid hormone at the peripheral cells, causing hypothyroid symptoms. She was then put on one and then a second blood pressure medication to try and regulate the blood pressure, but that blood pressure medication is then inhibiting her thyroid hormone production. So the body is fighting to try and maintain blood levels of T4 and T3, but it's at the consequence of decreased thyroid hormone in the peripheral cells. So what do we do in this situation? One, we've got to get a hold of her medical doctor who prescribed these things and, under, and explain this mechanism to them and get them to start reducing the blood pressure medications. Now, we've already started the process of reducing the inflammatory mechanisms, so we've seen a drop in all of her inflammatory markers. So at this stage, I really feel comfortable talking to her medical doctor about lowering those blood pressure medications. So that way we can get her natural thyroid hormone physiology to kick back into gear. As long as she's taking these two thyroid hormone medications, we're going to struggle to have optimal thyroid hormone production and optimal thyroid physiology, okay? So lesson here, if you're taking blood pressure medications, it may be or they may be the things that are inhibiting your thyroid hormone production, okay? Hopefully that helps. Take care and look forward to another Thyroid Thursday.